Hi everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a um, extra, extra, extra small dog sweater. So it would fit a teacup sized dog or a kitten. And we're going to start that in just a moment. everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are making a teacup size dog sweater or a kitten sweater. It'll fit either. So we're going to start by crossing our yarn and we are going to chain 40. One, two, three. And this is sock yarn that I ordered on eBay and this is a size 3 crochet hook. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. Okay, so where was I? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do this fast. Okay, so we've got 40 stitches. And without twisting, we are going to attach. And we're working this from the bottom up. Okay, then we're going to chain up two, sorry, chain up one, <clears throat> and we're going to do single crochets all the way around. Now this chain one, we are not counting as a stitch, so I want you to do 40 single crochets and then meet you back. So in the stitch. Pull your yarn through, yarn over through two loops. In the stitch, grab your yarn, pull through, yarn over through two loops. That's a single crochet. So 40 of them meet me back. So I did my 40 single crochets all the way around. Now I'm gonna attach into that chain one. Okay, just with the slip stitch. Okay, now we're going to chain up three. One, two, three. This chain three does not count as a stitch, okay? Now, we are going to skip the first stitch, go into the next. Okay, and do a double crochet. Then we're going to go to the one we skipped and do a double crochet. <coughs> Now see how that kind of makes an X or a cross? There we go. So we're going to do that all the way around. So we skip the next stitch, do a double crochet, come back for that stitch, do a double crochet. See? Okay, so skip the next stitch go in, do a double crochet, and go back to the other stitch. Now these two rows make up our pattern, okay? So it's always a row of single and a row of the cross double crochet. <coughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to do this for 12 rows. Now, I find if I'm always attaching in my chain, my stitches start going sideways. So here's what I do to fix that. So when we did the single crochet row, we attached in the chain. When we attach this row, we are going to be attaching into that stitch. The next row, the chain, the next row, the stitch, and that will just keep your seam nice and straight, okay? so. 12 rows, one row single crochet, one row double crochet, and these two count as part of the 12. Okay, do that, meet me back. Okay, so I've done my 12 rows, and I'm going to slip stitch into the stitch, chain up one. Okay, now things are going to get just a bit different here. 
we are going to pick up 20 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway there, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. We're going to chain up three. One, two, three. And we're going to do the same pattern, but we're just working on these stitches. So we'll skip the first, go into the second, go back for that first. <clears throat> now, you're going to do these two rows again, and just on these stitches, so 20 stitches, and you are going to do them for a total of six rows. So we did one row, this is two, we're going to do it for six, and meet me back. Did my six rows, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my loop big, I'm going to cut my yarn with the tail, and very gently... I'm going to pull my tail through my loop, but I'm not pulling it tight, okay? Now, on this side, I am going to pick up, so chain one and single crochets, I'm going to pick up 20 stitches again, but we're going to decrease on this side because it's the chest and you don't want it all bunched up between your legs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and come here, 20. Okay. So we have two different kinds of decrease. So we're going to chain up three. One, two, three. Okay. So a double crochet decrease is the following. Yarn over into the stitch, pull through, go through two loops. Now you have two loops on your, on your hook. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, go through two loops. You've got three loops. Go through all three loops. That turned two stitches into one, okay? Then we are going to do our pattern, which is the cross. So skip one. So <coughs> we're going to do this to the other side until the last two stitches, and then we're going to join the two stitches. So this row should have 18 once we're done, right? So we're doing the cross. So if we were counting, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine,
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and now these two together, right there, are gonna equal our 18. So, yarn in through the stitch, go through two loops, yarn in, next stitch, go through two loops, yarn over, go all three loops. Now, we're gonna decrease with a single crochet. This one's really easy. Yarn in, pull through, yarn in, pull through, Go through all three loops. <laughs> so that counts as one. This will be 16 row. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So these next two stitches need to be put together. So yarn, or sorry, pull through, next stitch, pull through, go through all three loops, 16 chain up three. I'm going to just show you one more double crochet decrease and then I'll let you just go on your own. So <clears throat> we're going into the next stitch, pull through, go through two loops, yarn over into the next stitch, pull through, go through two loops, three loops on hook, yarn over, go through those three loops and then continue with the cross till the last two stitches. You're going to do this until you're down to 10 stitches and then meet me back. Okay, so I'm down to 10. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the back and on the same side that chain two, I'm going to attach in there with the slip stitch. And then I'm going to chain up one and make my loop big. Now the one where I told you not to pull tight, we're going to go and undo that. <coughs> And uh, we're going to do the same thing we did to the other side. We're going to go in that chain two on the back. We are going to slip stitch. And then we're going to pull our tail through and pull tight this time. And then I'm just going to tuck that inside so it's out of our way. And so what we have done there is we have just made our little leg holes. And we've decreased it so there's not so much... <clears throat> bunching up at the chest. So now what we want to do is we're going to do 30 single crochets around and then we will do our pattern. So single crochet and then a double crochet row and then a single crochet row. And I want you to meet me back. So 30 stitches. One row of single crochet, one row of double crochet, and then another row of single crochet to finish it off. And make sure you have 30 stitches. Okay, did that meet me back? Okay, so I've gone around. Now, if you decide you want the neck a bit longer, by all means, do another row of the double crochet it's up to you so i just attached cut my yarn put my tail through my loop and there you have it your extra small extra 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 small or teacup size dog sweater there you go if you do want it a bit smaller, you can go with a 2.5 millimeter hook or even a size two millimeter hook. <clears throat> and there you go. So this is the chest, this is the back, 
you want, you can embellish it with a couple of buttons or whatever you like. And there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. If you decide you want notifications of when I do a new video, <coughs> pardon me, hit the little bell. Um, it doesn't always work, so watch for new videos on this channel on Thursdays. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.